Welcome to Dragon's Dogma 2, and in this guide we're going to be completing a quest to unlock both the Warrior and Sorcerer vocations. You can do this pretty early on in the game, as soon as you're able to free roam around Vernworth. In the middle of Vernworth, if you zoom in enough, you'll see the Vernworth Vocation Guild, and that's where you want to head first. I suppose I ought to get used to this. Greetings. Here you'll meet Klaus, and after his introduction, select the Change Vocation option. This menu is where you'll find the Warrior class, which can wield great swords and hammers, and the Sorcerer class, which can use arches staffs. Go back a menu, and this will trigger new dialogue for Klaus, telling you that they don't have the weapons currently in their armory, so they can't allow you to switch vocations yet. Once you stop talking to Klaus, he'll mention Roderick can help you with finding the weapons they need, and that you should go see him. This will officially begin the quest, Vocation Frustration. So you're going to want to do a quick sprint across town to meet Roderick at his smithy. Speak to him and he'll mention that Klaus said you were on your way, which is honestly impressive considering you just sprinted across town as fast as you could. But anyway, Roderick will inform you of a cave taken over by goblins containing the weapons he needs. From Vernworth, you can head west along a pretty straightforward path until you reach the Trevo Mine. There's a campfire on the way if you need to rest or skip to morning, as there are quite a few goblins and wolves that attack you once you get close to the mine entrance. There's also a lot of goblins inside the caves, so I would recommend going through and clearing it out pretty much completely before you go and grab the weapons. I'll show you exactly where the chests are though in case you only care about one of the weapons or just want to speed run through. There are four special chests in this mines, not counting the like generic wooden ones, so fight your way down the straightforward path in the beginning of the mine until you get to this room with the giant boulders. You can pretty safely clear out this room without worrying about them falling on you. Then head up past the boulders on the left side of the room until you reach this area where you can go right or you can climb up on the left. While you're here you might as well take the left path because it's pretty short, kill the sleeping goblin and get the chest that gives you the ring of cooling. Now continue on the right path until you reach the open area with the wooden bridge. Run straight ahead to find the chest containing the sorcerer weapon called Grievous Horn. Turn around and head up to where that wooden bridge is to find the chest containing the ranger's tights. On out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? Once you're at this chest, there should be a passage nearby at the same elevation that leads you to some more goblins and the chest containing the greatsword called Two-Hander. Once you've acquired both that greatsword and the archer's staff, you can head back to Klaus's shop. Turning in each of the weapons will unlock their respective vocations, allowing you to switch to them for 150 discipline points. Completing the quest will also reward you with 1200 XP and 7500 gold. That's how you can unlock the warrior and sorcerer classes in Dragon's Dogma 2. Subscribe if you enjoy high quality guides, and check out my Discord in the description if you're looking for a chill place to hang out. Thanks for watching.